Hello and welcome to my 27th Blitz 3D tutorial. As you can see here, we've pretty much just set up a very basic program. Uh, nothing new here. And uh, today I'll be teaching you guys about arrays. So let's just think, uh, just plainly, what an array is. So an array is pretty much just a group of objects, simply said. So let's say we had uh, a group of pencils, right? And we would have an array called pencil array which contained all of our pencils just a simple analogy to give you guys an idea and now let's actually go and create an array arrays are actually initialized with the keyword dim after that we have the array name which in this case is going to be an array and we have brackets following the array name now in these brackets we have something called an index number now I'll just type a certain number let's just say 4 and I'll explain to you what this means. This means, well, this number 4 tells Blitz3D to reserve 5 spaces in memory. It reserves everything from 0 to the index number, which in this case is 4. So that means it reserves 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. And if you count them up, that will be 5 elements. Oh, uh, yeah. Don't have enough time to highlight everything. Oh, uh, yeah. And how you actually set uh, these index numbers or certain placeholders in this array is by simply typing the array name, which in this case is an array, typing the index number, the first index number, which is 0, as I just explained, and setting it equal to a certain value, such as 5. Uh, yeah. And to just test that this works, let's just print out an array 0 on the screen. Let's just position this at text uh, 10, 10, 10 on the X and 10 on the Y, and print out an array uh, 0. And this should print 5 on the screen. Just hit F5, run this. Uh, okay, so it's not displaying uh, the 5 on... Oh, wait, 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 one sec. Okay, this is... Uh, kind of embarrassing, but yeah, I, I kind of I've put the text after the flip command, so that's why we screwed up. Uh, yeah, so make sure to not screw up like me. So learn from my mistakes, so yeah, that's cool. Okay, now this should work. Run at 5, and bam, right there, we have the number 5. Now let's just go over what the compiler is doing here, right? So here we create an array with 5 elements. Well, 0 to 4. And here we define the first element with this uh, index number 0, set equal to 5. And then, when we display the text here, it says, ah, an array. I remember that. It was defined right here. And then it goes to this 0 index number. Oh, and says, oh, look, an array 0 is equal to 5. I think I will evaluate that. And replaces this text with 5. So that's pretty much all it does. And this is actually a very ineffective way of assigning uh, values in, array, in an array. And mostly, well, what I usually use, when we have a regular change in array values or index numbers, and a regular change in their values, I would use a for statement to loop through every element in this array and assign it a number. So let's just say for 1, 2, for 0, sorry, 2, 4. Actually, not, not 4. Let's just define a variable for this. One sec. Let's define uh, elements, a variable. And let's learn how to spell on the way. And set it equal to 4 and just replace this 4 simply with elements. Okay, so we can say from 0 to elements. This will allow us some flexibility with the code because whenever we change this value of elements, it will change all instances of elements in the code. So that's pretty simple. Some stuff. Let's put a next to end this. And let's just say an array. Let's use this from i to elements. i will be 0 in this case. Uh, yeah, for i equals, yeah, 0, 2 elements. Don't know where I get this stuff, but let's just say i 
and let's set it equal to simply i plus 1. So uh, it's just 1 plus their index number. So now instead of containing the values from 0 to 4, it's going to contain the values from 1 to 5. Uh, so yeah. And we don't we, we can test it. We can just right before the flip command here put a text command. Text 10 on the x, 10 on the y. Let's say the value of an array 2 is oh and we can simply add let me move this window over so you guys can see an array uh, and 2 in the brackets so, and it should display 3 because each element number is going to be set equal to the element number plus 1 uh, yeah let's run this and I was correct the value of an array 2 is 3 uh, yeah so that was just pretty much a basic introduction to arrays. Uh, it, it's very simple. It's a very simple concept. I think you guys will get this right away. Uh, and but it's you still need to know it. You know, it's it's pretty much a basic element of programming. And thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you.